Hello Kitty. <laughs> hey folks, my name is Jen. So today we're going to be doing a um, book tag. <laughs> so I haven't been tagged in anything. Um, well, I mean not recently. I just wanted to do a tag because um, I, I have a little bit of a pinched nerve situation so um, I can't film the videos that I uh, wanted to film so instead we're gonna do a book tag and I just um, found one that looked interesting. So um, this tag is called the trope tag and this was created um, by Ash at Ink Words and Ash, which is a WordPress um, book blog. So let's do the questions and sorry, I won't have any examples of books to hold up for you because again, I don't have a large range of mobility right now, but uh, here we are. <laughs> okay, first question uh, has to do with the enemies to lovers trope. Uh, a book you formerly hated or disliked, but you now love. Though I honestly haven't really revisited any books that I formerly hated. Uh, as far as disliked though... Oh, let me see. I can't think of anything that I disliked, and now I like it, to be honest. Yeah, this is bad. I can't... It's the first question. I can't think of any examples. Um... Oh boy. Alright, next question. Second chance. Ah, the second chance romance. Um, a book you previously did not finish but now adore. So, I do have a few of those. Um, Mort is actually one of the most recent ones. I had started reading that in like, I think 2021 and then just put it aside and it was on my nightstand of shame for a while and I just finished it last month and I had a really good time with it. I really liked it. It's so funny. Terry Pratchett is so funny. And yeah, I've, I've had a few experience li experiences like that. Like I did that with um, Wondersmith too, one of the more um, Nevermore books where it sat on my nightstand of shame for a couple of months because I hadn't finished it and then I went back to it later and just absolutely adored it. So, yeah. <laughs> Next question is a love triangle. Uh, a duology where you love both of the books. Ooh. Oh, boy. So, Honestly, I don't think I've really read that many duologies, and most of the time when I do read them, I really like the first book, and then the second book ends up being kind of lackluster. Yikes. Yeah, nothing is coming to mind. Just absolutely nothing is coming to mind at this point. Um, hey guys, it is editing Jen of the future. And I actually just now, as I was doing this, remembered a duology um, that I really like that I, I don't think I thought of it because I usually don't think of it as a duology. And it's um, The Shining and Doctor Sleep. Um, the Shining is one of my favorite books of all time and Doctor Sleep I know it's a very polarizing sequel for a lot of people, but I um, I absolutely adored it, and it is probably my favorite sequel ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next uh, one is Friends to Lovers. Um, so that's that's a trope that I like. Like I'm I don't like enemies to lovers. Um, second chance romance. I'm kind of a bit different about love triangles I don't really like, but friends to lovers I do like. Let me see, that is a book recommended to you that you enjoyed. Um, ooh, okay. Let me think about that. It's been a while since I've read something that somebody recommended. Like, I have books 
that people have recommended me, um, but I haven't read them yet. Oh my god, why am I struggle bussing? Oh, okay. So it's been a couple of years, um, but uh, one of my best friends recommended The Ocean at the End of the Lane to me, and it was phenomenal. Um, it's by Neil Gaiman. I know that that one's kind of polarizing. I have heard a lot of people say they absolutely adored it. I have heard a lot of people say it was terrible. Um, so yeah, I, I know that's, I know, um, Neil Gaiman's kind of a, a polarizing author <laughs> and, uh, especially that book. So, but, um, I really loved it. It broke me into a million pieces but I didn't really mind. <laughs> I found it very beautiful. Would I read it again? I don't know because the emotional toll was quite a chunk, but um, yeah, I did, I did really enjoy it. Next one is Insta Love. Ooh, that's one I, I'm not a fan of either. Um, a book you knew you would love at first sight. Oh, nevermore. I, I think that's one that I knew at first sight. I can't remember where I heard about it first. I'm fairly certain uh, it was somebody on booktube and I honestly cannot remember who it was. But I, I saw it on someone's channel and heard about it and saw the cover and just heard the whole synopsis and I was like, that shit's gonna be great. and. Um, I was right. I absolutely loved it. The chosen one. Okay. I that's a trope that I I have mixed feelings about. Like I end up really loving it, but then there's there's parts of it that I also really hate too. Okay, uh your all-time favorite book of the year slash month. Okay, it's it's only March. I feel like I've had a couple of really good reads, but I, I don't know if I have everything. I consider the best read of the year so far. I don't know. Um, Westmark was really good. Uh, so I would say maybe that would be at the top of my list so far this year has been Westmark because I really, really enjoyed that read um, at the moment. Very, very likely to change because um, I have a lot of things uh, to read this year I think are going to be awesome, but yeah, I guess I'll say Westmark for right now. Next question is Forbidden Love. Oh, that's a complicated trope too. Um, a loved book you don't talk about often. I feel like I talk about a lot of books that I love oh, often. Um, let me see. I guess like a series, I can say, uh, the Princess Diaries series. I feel like I, I've talked about that before, but I feel like I haven't really talked about that, um, a lot recently. Like, I, I, I think that's, that's, um, a topic I, I used to talk about a lot more, like, when I first started my channel, but, um, yeah, the Princess Diaries is a series that I, um, really love. I don't know if it really holds up anymore, which is a scary thought, because I, I have an idea, um, <laughs> kind of, for maybe sometime in the summer doing like a, um, uh, a vlog of rereading the entire series, um, again for the first time in forever. <laughs> Basically, I think the last time I reread the series, I was maybe, I want to say, either my senior year of high school or a freshman year of college, I think, was when I reread the series in its entirety. <laughs> but I'm also, like, really nervous about that because I feel such a nostalgia for the series and some real love for it because it mattered so much to me as a, as a teenager. And I related to Mia so hardcore, <laughs> and I just, I mean, other than that, I'm not a princess of a European country, obviously, but, like, the other aspects of her personality, I, um, I related to a lot at the time, so I, um, 
I don't know, I, I've been kind of wanting to revisit it, but I, there's a part of me that's also really scared to, uh, because I think it wasn't this past Christmas, it was the previous Christmas, um, one of the holiday books that I chose to reread uh, in December was the Christmas um, novella Princess Present and I did not really enjoy the experience that much because of my extremely visceral reaction to Lily Moskovitz. I hated Lily and I don't really remember hating her when I was first in love with this series. I remember just finding her kind of annoying. I loathe her <laughs> when I read The Princess Present. So, like, oh, I'm just a little bit kind of like, oh no, how am I going to feel about this series now? Uh, let me, okay, sorry. That was a long answer. Uh, next question is, Secret Billionaire. That's, that's a fun trope. It's ugh, so weird. Uh, a book you read and enjoyed before you knew it was popular book I read and enjoyed before I knew it was popular. I, I don't honestly know if there's been any of those, because a, a lot of the times why I used to and still do on occasion pick up books is because I've been hearing about them ad nauseum. I mean, maybe the closest thing I can think of is when I first started reading manga back in high school. Um, I just read these series and I was new to that whole world so I didn't realize a lot of them were as popular as they were just because I, I was new to the whole thing. Um, I think the first series I read was Inuyasha so um, yeah I, I guess that would be it that would be the thing that I read before I realized it was popular because again I was new to that world so I didn't really know. Uh, next question is found family. Oh, that's my favorite trope. Uh, your most cherished books. Oh, man. I have a lot of different books that I would consider my most cherished books, I guess. I got all my, my childhood, like, picture books and, like, books that were very dear to me as a kid, so, like, these are a couple that I, I really love because of how much I loved them as a kid and that's how they have nostalgia. I have a couple of books that I own that are signed by the authors that I really love. I have books that were gifts from people who are who are no longer around. I have books that belong to people who are no longer around that I really cherish as well. So I wouldn't say it's any like specific books but it's like there's reasons behind the books that make them something that I, I cherish a lot so it ha yeah it has to do with like the memories surrounding them or like who who they belong to or who gave me them I guess is more uh, that next question is forced proximity a required reading book you read and enjoyed I actually was pretty lucky because I had quite a few of those. Um, Scarlet Letter was one, Christmas Carol, um, The Joy Luck Club, Stranger in the Kingdom, or The Skin of Our Teeth. Just so many things, so many things that I was assigned and sometimes they were books that I went into with this feeling of, oh boy, is this gonna be good? And then it was absolutely blew my mind so yeah <laughs> all right the last thing is to tag someone um I'm going to tag autumn at nose in a book and also oh my gosh I forget what your name is I am so sorry um you are the gentleman who has the GKBC um, channel. I, I'm so sorry. I actually forget what your first name is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm tagging you as well. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to do this tag, if you've done it before and I just haven't seen it, don't worry about it. Um, no pressure. All right. Thank you guys for, um, watching and, uh, thank you for always watching. If you're new here, feel free to 
subscribe. I promise I'll have more interesting videos in the future when I'm not um, being a decrepit old person. And I will, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.